Hi, and welcome back to the second video in the series on hills and cliff sides. Now that we've built up our hillside, the first step is to brush away any sand and rocks that didn't get glued down and start black bombing everything with some black Mod Podge. I use hard coat Mod Podge with some black acrylic paint and I mix them up to give my models their first coating. Be sure when you do this not to put too much Mod Podge on the sand and rock piles because the Mod Podge might reactivate the PVA and you'll lose some of that nice structures that you've built. The second phase is actually putting some base coat on the rock piles. I use Naples yellow with some gray to give my rock piles their base coat and I put the same color on the cliff sides. As you can see I apply the paint using a regular paintbrush and I make sure to get into all those nooks and crannies. I don't worry over much that they'll be too bright because I'm going to wash everything down with black wash later. Once I'm done coloring the cliffs and the rock piles, I move over to color the tops of the cliff and the rest of the tile. I start by using a dark hunter green for my base color which I coat the entire with which I coat the entire tile and then I slowly shade it with lighter and lighter shades of green and some stipples of pollen yellow just to make all those greens pop out. I use a sponge to do, to do this. This gives the whole uh, paint uh, job a more organic feel. Of course, I keep hydrated as I work to keep myself energized. Now, once all the greens are dry, I take some ochre colors and some burnt umber I water them down and I use them to paint the road that crosses the tile from side to side. I start by using uh, a dark brown wash made from this burnt umber for the deeper wetter shades of the road and I'll later pass over it with lighter shades intermittently for that older and drier mud. I then water down some more dark umber and use it to create mud patches all over the tile for those areas where the grass doesn't cover the dirt, the dirt and the mud shows through. I also use them to color the edges, the top edges of the cliff face and to uh, emulate where mud and dirt kind of ran down the cliff and piled into those rock piles. This will really make all the crags in the, cliff in the cliff face pop out and give them a sense of depth. I make sure to add some paint on the ledges where mud might have accumulated. And I do this for all the tile, making sure to catch all those, even all those areas where I wouldn't normally see, like the edges of the tile or just underneath some rock shelves. Once this is done, I let it dry and everything will be ready for, uh, for me to apply the tufts and grasses. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later in the third video on vegetation. Goodbye.